Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Guild on Xbox Series S. And um, yeah, maybe you already knew about this game came out like two, three years ago or something on uh, Google Stadia. It was their, yeah, I will only almost call it their flagship game exclusive on the Stadia platform. And uh, I still have the Stadia. I did play it uh, back then. It's a completely useless peripheral right now. I think you can use it as a PC controller, if I'm correct. It's not a bad controller, by the way. I wish it would work with the uh, with the Xbox or PlayStation. It would be great for that. But yeah, um, this game came out on that. We all know what happened to Stadia. It went down, it was gone. And um, yeah, also this game. So they decided to bring this game to all the other consoles. So it's coming out to uh, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox. And right now I'm going to show it to you guys on the Xbox Series S. And uh, let's get into it. First of all, let's see how much data it is. And that's only 5.1 GB. Game is not on Game Pass. And I think it's like 35, 30 euros or something like that. It's a, yeah, it's a mid-range priced. It's, it's a higher priced indie game. I think that's the best way to describe it. Fully optimized for the new gen consoles. And yeah, let's just start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis. New games, old games, updates on games. Sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, Tequila Works. Parallel. Pe -pe parallel circle. <laughs> wow, Maurice, come on. Um, the game doesn't have any graphical mode, so it's one size fits all. And uh, yeah, let's just start it up. It's, uh, by the way, good news, 1080p. 60 fps all the way through it could even be a little bit higher from what i saw in this game it's a really dark game by the way um it's a uh, third person horror survival game actually yeah you wouldn't think uh, of it What's to be on? that but yeah it is it's another strange book First day at Backman's uh, school. I also got a lot of people asking me how the achievements are. So I'm going to show you the achievements too. There are 29 in total. They're all secret, but there are all, um, mo of not all, most of them are just, yeah, story based. So you can unlock most of these, uh, these achievements uh, in the story uh, if you want. And I think it looks gorgeous. Oh. This game is like super dark. Nothing. And also pretty scary. So yeah, this is definitely one of the higher profiled uh, indie games that you can get. Oh, she does, in fact, no, 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 Yo, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's not gonna happen. First need to... Where is it going? There it is. Okay. Do this, Maurice. And they're both out. Yes. No, no, no. Don't go there. No. It looks gorgeous, by the way. It feels a little bit like the little nightmares. Yeah, this is like a it's almost a double A game the, the highest tier of Emily. indie games you can get and the day she shows up again all these monsters come with her what does this all mean where was she uh oh Be afraid, be real afraid. So, and what is the premises of this game? Well, um, your niece is, uh, is gone. You need to search for your niece. And after some uh, bullies uh, wanted to to get you, you fell off um, a cliff. And after that, yeah, they, 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 you came into town where everything was different. Monsters are everywhere. What are they? What do they want? I almost feel like metal, uh, <clears throat> like solid snake. Snake, snake. Do 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 do. Scary stuff. Scary, scary stuff. And so right now we're in a school and try and search for your little niece. Oh, 
nothing? Really cool game. Simple. Scary. What's this? Now I know why a lot of people were hoping that this game would come to all consoles and that it didn't got uh, disappeared by um, we see you someone we see really you. wants me to remember that yeah they definitely do by the disappearance of um, the Google stadia. I don't like those eyes. This game is amazing, by the way. that monster gone Oh my. Scary stuff, you guys. But yeah, this is Guild running on a Xbox Series S. And I can highly recommend it if you are into the more original um, horror survival games. Uh, it runs perfect on the Series S. So go check it out. It's out now. And I really want to thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye.